intervention of the speaker. Firstly, you may proceed, Senator Omtata, to take your seat. Firstly, on the 16th of February 2024, I received a letter from Senator Gloria Orwaba, MP, questioning the decision of the then temporary speaker, Senator Catherine Muma, at the sitting of the Senate held on the 15th of February 2024, not to allow her to raise a point of order on utterances made by the Senator for Homer Bay County. Secondly, on the 21st of February 2024, I received a letter from the Senate Minority Leader, the Honorable Senator Stuart Mazayo, questioning and appealing the ruling of the then temporary speaker, Senator Veronica Minor, MP, at the sitting of the Senate held on the 20th of February 2024, requiring the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stuart Mazayo, MP, to withdraw from the chamber pursuant to Standing Order 120. 121-2B, I believe it's 122. Honorable Senators, following receipt of the two letters, I undertook to start the Hansard and the live broadcast, broadcasting video of the Senate proceedings of Thursday 15th of February 2024 and on Tuesday 20th of February 2023 to ascertain the claims made by the Honorable Senator Gloria Oroba and the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stuart Mazayo, MP. On the claim by Senator Gloria Oroba, MP, the brief facts are as follows. At the sitting of the Senate held on Tuesday, 15th of February, 2024, the Senator for Homer Bay County, Senator Moses Kajong, MP, while contributing to the debate on the Water Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bills number 33 of 2023, made the following remarks, and I quote, Madam Temporary Speaker, the caucus members include C CSM in charge of water from Bomait, and he has asked us to oppose the bill. The CECM in charge of water from Mombasa, where Senator Miraj allegedly comes from, has asked us to oppose it. That includes the one for Kisi, where Senator Oroba allegedly comes. They have also asked us to oppose it." End quote. The comments by Senator Moses Kajuang MP prompted Senator Gloria Roba MP to rise on a point of order, seeking the intervention of the chair to require the Senator for Homer Bay County to withdraw the comment that the Senator Gloria Roba MP, I quote, allegedly comes from Kisi County. The temporary speaker ruled Senator Gloria Roba MP to be out of order and allowed Senator Moses Kajuang MP to resume his contribution on the bill. Following the directions by the chair, Senator Gloria Oroba MP continued to consult in a disruptive manner, prompting the Senator for Nairobi City County, Senator Edwin Sifuna MP, to raise on a point of order pursuant to Standing Order 121A and C. Thereafter, the temporary speaker cautioned Senator Gloria Oroba MP to maintain order. Honorable Senators, from the foregoing, the allegations by Senator Gloria Oroba MP again as the chair for unjustly dismissed my rightful demands, which clearly exhibited bias by politicizing the issue, end of quote, I find that the allegations to be unfounded and hereby dismissed as the then chair rightfully dispensed with this matter. Honorable Senators, it is worth noting that the decision of the chair was final and thus the letter by Senator Gloria Oroba MP was not necessary as the standing orders do not provide for a mechanism to challenge or appeal the ruling of the speaker, save for a decision on suspension of a senator. In the event that Senator Gloria Oroba MP was dissatisfied with the directive of the chair, there were other avenues are set, uh, to set her record straight, including filing a personal statement pursuant to Standing Order 58 of the Senate Standing Orders. Honorable Senators, concerning the appeal by the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo, MP, as you may recall, at the sitting of the Senate, held on Thursday, on Tuesday, 20th of February, 24, the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Justice Retired Stewart Mazayo, MP, rose on a point of order, seeking the intervention of the Speaker on the remarks made by Senator for Nandi County, Senator Samson Chirangay, 
uh, while contributing to the motion on the report of the National Dialogue Committee. In the point of order, the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stuart Mazayo, stated as follows, and I quote, Be Speaker Wamuda, Bunge la Seneti, ni bunge linalo heshimiwa sana, na hivi sasa kwa taifa nzima. Macho yote ya melekezwa hapa. Itakuwa si heshma, mutu kuwataja viongozi, maseneta, waseme, uh, waseme ata ngulishe vila anavyo ongea, kisha wewe useme hiyo ni sawa, na anaweza kuenda kuketi na kuenda zake nyumbani. Bespika wa muda, hayo ni makosa kabisa. Kwa sababu hairuhusiwi katika kanuni za kudumu za seneti, mutu kutajwa hapa asiyekuwa ndani ya bunge, asiyeweza kujetetea. End of quote. The point of order sought by intervention of the speaker, as in the opinion of the Senate Majority Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, Senator Samson Chirangay MP, had not adequately substantiated an earlier point of order raised by the Senator for Kitui County, Senator Enoch Wumboa, CBS MP. The, Senator, the Senate Minority Leader further argued that it was inappropriate that therefore and therefore out of order for, for Senator Samson Chirange MP to adverse, uh, adversely mention persons who were not in the Senate and therefore unable to respond to allegations being made against them. Now, honorable senators, following the withdrawal from the chamber, the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, wrote to the speaker via a letter dated 21st of February 2024, decision of the temporary speaker to require the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, to exit the chamber for the remainder of the day's sitting, such an appeal, honorable senators, is provided understanding Order 127, which states as follows. A senator in respect of whom a suspension under this part is imposed may appeal in writing to the speaker, and the speaker may do the following. One, uphold the suspension as pronounced, or vary the decision and communicate the matter to the Senate. Honorable Senators, in addressing the appeal by the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, my review of the proceedings of the Senate on the 20th of February 2024 indicate that the Senator for Kitui County, Senator Enoch Wambua, rose on a point of order pursuant to Standing Order 105, requesting the intervention of the Speaker for the Senator for Nandi County, Senator Samson Chirangay, to substantiate a statement made when he was contributing to the motion on the report of the National Dialogue Committee. A request for substantiation pursuant to Standing Order 105 may be dealt with in two ways. One, pursuant to Standing Order 1051 by the Speaker requiring a Senator to substantiate allegations instantly or pursuant to Standing Order 105 by the Speaker requiring the Senator to substantiate allegations not later than the next sitting day. Now, Honorable Senators, my review of the proceedings of the 20th of February 24 indicate that Senator Fernandi County was directed to substantiate his statement instantly, following a rejection of his request pursuant to Standing Order 1052 to substantiate his statement at the next sitting day. Consequently, the Senator Fernandi County substantiated his claims, and the matter was thereafter closed by the temporary speaker, Senator Veronica Minor, MP to allow debate on the substantive or motion to resume. A reading of the Hansard indicates that it is at this point that the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, rose on a point of order to which the temporary speaker ruled that the matter had been closed. The temporary speaker thereafter, on several occasions, directed the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, to resume his seat, but he continued to interrupt debate and consult in a disruptive manner. This prompted his microphone to be switched off under the direction of the temporary speaker. Having repeatedly defied the instruction of the speaker, the speaker thereafter directed the Senate Majority Leader, MP, to withdraw from the chamber for the remainder of the day's sitting pursuant to Standing Order 122 TA. From the foregoing, I find that the action of the Senate Minority Leader on the 20th of February 2020 24, to have exhibited an act of disorderly conduct. I therefore make a determination to uphold the decision to suspend the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Stewart Mazayo MP, 
as pronounced by the then temporary speaker. Now, honorable senators, I wish to remind you of the role of the speaker within our legislative body. As a presiding officer, the speaker is tasked with the maintaining order, interpreting rules, and ensuring the smooth conduct of parliamentary proceedings. The authority of the speaker is fundamental to the proper functioning of the parliament, of parliament and plays a crucial role in upholding parliamentary procedures. The speaker has authority to enforce parliamentary rules, decide on points of order, and also has power to suspend members for disorderly conduct and regulate debates. Article, Article 107 of the Constitution states as follows. At any sitting of the House of Parliament, the Speaker presides. In the absence of the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker presides. And in the absence of the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, another member of the House elected by the House presides. Pers further, Standing Order 21 states as follows. There shall be a panel to be known as the Speaker's Panel, which shall comp uh, comprise four Senators, to be known respectively as the first, second, third, and fourth panelists, who shall be entitled to exercise all the powers vested in the chairperson of the committee of the whole. The presidium, composed of the speaker, the deputy speaker, and other senators elected pursuant to Article 1071C of the Constitution, share the authority and responsibilities of the speaker in the context of Article 1071. A and B of the Constitution. While the Speaker holds the primary role, the other members of the Presidium ensures continuity and support in the absence of the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker by upholding the dignity and integrity of parliamentary proceedings. Honorable Senators, that being said, it is crucial that we reflect on the significance of upholding the directives issued by, a speak, by the Speaker. The directives by the Speaker are not arbitrary. They are designed to facilitate productive debates, ensure fairness, and uphold the rules of procedure of the Senate. Disregarding the director of the Speaker undermines the authority of the Speaker and has far-reaching consequences beyond the integrity and functionality of the institution of Parliament. Such actions contribute to the erosion of parliamentary decorum, disrupt the orderly conduct of proceedings, and create a climate of chaos within the chamber. For avoidance of doubt, no senator is above these rules. I repeat, for avoidance of doubt, no senator is above these rules. Whether you're a leader or just a senator, no senator is above these rules. The standing order of the Senate apply equally to all senators. It is paramount, therefore, that honorable senators adhere to the speaker's guidance and directives and as disregarding them, has the potential to disrupt the proceedings of the Senate and make a mockery out of them. Further, I take this opportunity to implore honorable senators to engage in debates 